So follow botting on Twitch has been happening for a couple years now, more recent years as well, and Twitch still does not have a direct way of getting rid of them, period, even though it's against our own 2S. So today I'm going to show you guys a couple ways how I combat them and how I get rid of them. If you don't know me, hi, I'm your favorite moderator. I do a whole bunch of things about content creation and modding and etiquette and a whole bunch more. So if you like stuff like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and click that notification bell so you never miss another video from me. I am trying to hate YouTube partner this year and it would mean the world to me. It's absolutely free. And without a further ado, let's get rid of these follow bots. Now you're probably asking if you're fairly new to Twitch, what is a follow bot? So follow botting is when people or a person or whatever basically puts robots on your account. <laughs> that sounds very scary and very weird, but trust me, it's gonna be okay. Basically, these are not real followers that you're getting. They are bots. They're exactly what this sounds like. And it's very scary in the moment. I have had it happen once or twice. Once you get the hang of things and once you have these tools on you, you'll be absolutely fine. So what do I do while it's happening? Well, the first thing I do is turn off my alerts. I turn off the sound. Even if I could still hear it, I at least turn it off for stream so it's not as spammy and annoying. Also, if you have one of those chats like Streamlabs or Stream Elements that shows it in the chat, I personally do not have it, but I know people do. I recommend just banning the bot for now because it just will spam your chat, especially if people are follow botting with like thousands of bots <laughs> and that's terrible. You don't want to flood your chat. So I recommend just banning that bot for now. You can unban it later. Or if you have quick, easy hands and you're not as panicked, uh, I recommend turning just this bot command thing off. I don't know if that's accessible because again, I don't have it, but I know people do. I'm going to show you two tools that you should have if this does happen. The first thing I have, which I have not used this in a while because I have the second thing. I have mixed it up and basically you can make your own command for it or your mods can run this command if the follow bot is happening. Say if you're like AFK or something and the hate raid or something like that happens while you're doing this. I have exclamation point hate raid. Um, so this turns on followers only and I put it on for one month. Then I have uh, the clear chat and this also happens by better TV. Uh, and then I also, it spams emotes so it doesn't look like it's spammed by like you know, I, I just make sure that everyone's okay. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, this is mainly for a hate read, but I also use this for follow bots just in case. So the second thing I have that I use during streams, and this actually does all the work for me, is SiriBot. If you don't know SiriBot, basically it fights against hate reads and follow bots on Twitch. I'll leave this link in the description below. It's very easy to set up. You have to mod the bot and you have to do all these steps to authorize it. But once it's all set up, you don't have to do anything else. It joins in every stream and whatever happens, it just bans all the bots right away. So there you go. It has follow bot protection. You can turn it off if you want to. It also has an offline lock. So basically if you go offline, it will put on like shield mode, emote only mode, stuff like that. So just in case you get follow botted off stream or something like that, or hate rated off stream, your Twitch account won't be affected because SiriBot will take it all for you. Also just go support SiriBot if you want to leave a tip or anything. I believe they have a coffee and you could do that. Also, if the follow bot is happening while I'm live, I don't really mention it on stream. Of course, if it's very obvious, I'll just be like, okay, I'm getting follow botted, like, let's calm down, let's not talk about it. I try not to mention it as much because at the end of the day, the person that follow botted you just wants attention and I don't want to give them that attention. So I try not to mention it as much. If someone asks like what happened, of course, I'll just be like, got follow about it. It's whatever. And SiriBot is taking care of it. That's all I will say. But otherwise, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, I'm getting followed. Like I try not to go into panic, even though I'm probably really panicky inside. I know that's very hard to do easier said than done to just not panic and just be like, okay, boop, 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 boop. Like that's taken care of. But again, if you have SiriBot, it does all the work for you and you can just go on your way and pretend like nothing's happening and not be as panicked. So thank you, SiriBot. We love you. <laughs> if for some reason SiriBot is down or not working or for whatever reason, I recommend Combiner Root. Now for this, you do have to be somewhat alert. Uh, I recommend writing down the time in your time zone that this started and when it possibly ends. And I'll show you why in a minute. So I will also leave this link in the description below, but it will, once you authorize your Twitch, it will pull up all of your followers that you have. I've Dan Clancy. 
but you can if it's like 10 bots or something like that like something very low i recommend just doing it one by one uh, because i know using this website sometimes can just remove all your followers and i don't want that to happen to you i again have not used the site in a very long time because i have seribot seribot takes care of everything for me so up here you can filter it by followed between what day and time uh, you can also do crown created say if you you know say if the counts were created on the same day um you could just you know put it in that it was february 6th and all those accounts that were created on february 6th will go bye bye <laughs> you can also just do the username you could do the broadcast type so you could do all your affiliates all your partners that's odd yeah they have a whole bunch of setting here if it's a gnome bot any you can apply the filters and yeah just be careful with all these buttons this is very overwhelming but also they have a youtube video for it this is commander root themselves i just subscribed to them if you do need help i will leave this video in the description as well as this link to commander root um so shout out to them because before siri bot was not a thing for me i did use commander root in it did a perfect job so and i know some people are like well debbie that's free followers why wouldn't you want these well first of all you can't really apply for partner if you have a lot a bot account because twitch will mark you as suspicious same thing with youtube if you're like subscriber botting yourself is that what it's called um if you're botting yourself obviously youtube will not let you into the partner program or anything like that they will just take your channel down same thing with twitch i believe this goes with any social media um i know it's less known on twitch um, but it is still a thing and I like to follow by the rules so get rid of them. You don't need them. You will get them manually and legitly. <laughs> but also that's just like scary. I would not want that on my back for a very long time. Anyway, if you guys have any more tools or anything like that, any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comments. I would love to chat with you there and uh, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye!